telling Brian about going with my aunt to her cabin and eating wild blueberries and making pancakes and he, you know he thought that sounded so good wanted to go with do that one time and here we are riding through California on the coast highway back in the forest and found a bunch of bushes wild blueberries they're so good they're small and it's not really the prime season for eating them we always went and got them in the you know end of July early August but they're so good and they usually grow in big swamps like from where I saw them but here they're just going to little stands all over the place and going back uh, back here this is one that's one I don't know if you can see Brian but he's way back over here and he's found more he's got the cup we're pretty much out of food except for some ses black sesame cereal and still have a way to go so this is a very very welcome finding plus wild blueberries taste so much better than the ones in the store you know you know they're not as big but the flavor is so much better You guys ever want to see a bear shooting in the woods? Here, found one. Sorry for the reversion back to low quality, but our iPhones are out of space and batteries, and this is the only thing we got charged. It's gonna be a minute before we get to the town. But here you go. Here's a lot more on this one. This is the pack right here. Yeah, lots of fruit on here. What you doing? This is nature's fast food, man. Some <laughs> yeah, it's they're doing. Just, just got you. You don't push the drive up window. You just got to be careful. Spiders are that close to camping in here. Right. Be good. All right. Say something, Brian. Uh, uh, blueberries, best stuff in the world, right here. Found the pat, figure this out, I'm just going mad. <laughs> I'm having grando time. But you gotta be careful though. I mean there's a lot of sticky stuff and weird shit and spiders all over the place. But but uh I got like I got like this many in the cup so far and uh, I'm not running out. I mean they're probably this would be great if there's like a couple of months like Nanami said, a couple of months from now, dude, this is gonna be some cheese nick right here. But, but this is gonna be breakfast for us. But, Bears, it's good for the bears, why ain't it good for us, right? I shit like a bear. Yeah, sometimes you do. Or a moose, they eat these. <laughs> Dude, they are just everywhere. Look at this, it's growing everywhere. Oh, oh, watch, they're gonna fall in. Look at the one to your left. Oh, crap, this one? See those ones that are bright blue? Yeah, those are the other brands. Those are the ripe ones, like the fully ripe ones. The ones that have like a sheen, like a, a dusting. Yeah, yeah, like a little waxy sheen on it. Uh, uh. Up higher. I know it, I can see it, I just can't get it, fool. <laughs> right, I'll see if I can find some on this side to show you guys. Man, this is not easy work, people. Sure it is. Dude, I'm standing on the log, balancing, holding the cup, twisting this way and that way. I used to sit in the swamps for hours with a bucket. Yeah, but dude, I'm looking for snakes and spiders and bears. I'm looking for everything. Looking for fucking rednecks with fucking AR-15s. There's a sign right up there. It says, danger! Danger, real Robinson! Right? That fucking so scared up here, dude. It's fucking hard to believe.
Yep. All right, I'm going to end this video because it's five minutes long. All right, all right, let's go. I got to see you guys enough for a couple of hats for the I'll say thank you. Thank you.